For 70 long years, American pilots pretty much laughed at the idea that anyone could ever beat them upstairs. They ruled the skies, end of story. Well, that laughter? It might have just stopped last week. Brand new cell phone shots, so clear you could practically count the rivets, show China's sleek, tailless J-50 slicing through the haze above Chengdu. It's pulling a gentle, confident bank, a maneuver that screams one thing. This isn't some mock-up, it's not just a tech demo, and it's certainly not a computer-generated fantasy. This is a flying, powered, honest-to-goodness sixth-generation fighter. And get this. It's already in the air, months, maybe even a full year, before the Pentagon's own next-generation air dominance. NGAD program is even scheduled to roll out of the hangar. If you thought 5th Gen was the absolute pinnacle of aerial combat, the ultimate apex predator, then you really need to think again. The rules of engagement, the very definition of air superiority, just got completely rewritten by a jet most people, even in defense circles, had never even heard of until now. This isn't just a new plane, it's a paradigm shift, unfolding right before our eyes. So, what are we actually seeing in these images? Let's zoom in. First off, the airframe itself. We're talking about a distinct diamond-shaped wing, utterly devoid of any vertical tail. That's a huge deal for stealth, and we'll get into why in a moment. Then there are the deeply buried engines, with their flattened exhausts meticulously designed to squelch both radar and infrared plumes, essentially making the jet whisper quiet to enemy sensors. But look closer, really scrutinize those pixels. You can clearly make out the wingtips, they swivel independently. This isn't just for show. They're acting as drag rudders at low speed, giving the pilot precise control, and then morphing into stealthy trim surfaces when this beast punches through the sound barrier. It's an ingenious solution to a complex aerodynamic problem. And what's that under the nose? A matte black electro-optical window. This isn't some off-the-shelf camera. It's part of the same family of advanced sensors that feed the F-35's legendary God's Eye View. That panoramic, fused sensor picture that gives pilots unparalleled situational awareness. Only this one is flush-mounted, perfectly integrated into the fuselage to keep its radar cross-section down near the size of, well, a sparrow. But perhaps the most telling detail isn't even on the jet itself. It's the cell phone metadata, the shots were snapped at 9.14 local time, the aircraft was at an altitude of 1,800 feet, speed brakes tucked neatly in, and critically, the landing gear was up. That, my friends, is not a taxi test. That is a jet in full, glorious flight, probably on its third or fourth sortie, judging by the relaxed, confident deflections of its control surfaces. This isn't a concept, it's a reality taking to the skies. Now, let's talk about that missing tail. A fighter jet without a tail is like a Formula One car without a rear wing. You only do it if you are absolutely confident you can still corner and corner hard. It's a massive engineering challenge, but China is betting big on two very clever tricks to make it work, and then some. First, they're employing 2D thrust vectoring paddles nestled deep inside those flattened engine nozzles. These aren't just for show, they give the J-50 incredible pitch and yaw authority the instant traditional control surfaces, like rudders and elevators, start to lose their bite at extreme angles of attack or high altitudes. Think of it as steering with pure engine power. Second, and this is where it gets really innovative, the flight computers are firing micro vanes along the trailing edge of the wings, and they're doing it 20 times a second. That's fast enough to literally fool the air into thinking there's a tail there, even when there isn't. The result? A jaw-dropping 70% drop in side aspect radar return compared with China's current J-20 stealth fighter. That's not just an improvement, it's a revolution in stealth. And the maneuverability? According to one Taiwanese pilot who faced the older J-20 in a simulated engagement, the J-50's turning radius shrinks faster than your stomach on a dive. Put simply, this means the J-50 can out-turn, out-sneak, and out-accelerate pretty much any 5th gen fighter you can name. And it does all this with significantly fewer moving parts, which means less maintenance and greater reliability. It's a masterclass in aerodynamic efficiency meeting cutting-edge control. Sixth generation isn't just about being stealthier or faster, it's about being a flying, 
network supercomputer. Essentially, a flying router with teeth. Open source Chinese journals, yes, they publish them, and we should be reading them, mention a multi-core photonic backbone that shuffles an astonishing 200 gigabits a second. To put that in perspective, that's enough bandwidth to stream 8K video from every single sensor on the airframe simultaneously to nearby drones, to command ships, and even directly to infantry helmets on the ground. The J-50 isn't just designed to fly, it's designed to command. It's the quarterback of a vast, interconnected aerial team, capable of directing a swarm of loyal wingman drones. Each of these unmanned companions could be carrying extra missiles, advanced electronic warfare packages, or even decoys, dramatically expanding the J-50's combat footprint. One pilot, flying a J-50, effectively becomes an entire squadron. And then there's the AI. This isn't just a fancy autopilot. This is an artificial intelligence system that learns enemy radar patterns and electronic warfare tactics in real time. It analyzes threats, identifies vulnerabilities, and can literally rewrite its own playbook mid-mission, adapting to unforeseen circumstances faster than any human ever could. And what about range, the eternal challenge for any fighter? The J-50 sports a variable cycle engine, a technological marvel that acts part turbojet for efficient cruising and part ramjet for blistering supersonic dashes. This innovative propulsion system stretches its combat radius past an incredible 1,200 nautical miles without needing any external fuel tankers. Translation. Strategic locations like Guam, Okinawa, and the northern Philippines all suddenly sit under its shadow, directly reachable from bases on the Chinese mainland coast. This isn't just an aircraft, it's a complete warfighting system designed for dominance. Here's the stark reality check. America's next-generation air dominance fighter, the program meant to replace our current top-tier jets, is still largely on contract paper, a series of ambitious blueprints and digital models. The J-50, on the other hand, is already burning jet of fuel, carving turns in the sky. And that timing? It matters, perhaps more than anything else. Every single month of lead time lets Chinese engineers iron out critical kinks in the design build sophisticated simulators to train pilots, develop comprehensive maintenance protocols, train instructors, and, crucially, begin the complex process of mass producing the specialized carbon fiber tooling required for full-scale production. By the time the first NGAD prototypes are projected to roll out, perhaps in 2027 or even later, the J-50 will have logged thousands of invaluable test hours. Analysts are already estimating that China could have at least 40 production airframes operational by then, possibly more. In the fast-paced world of technology, and especially military aerospace, first-mover advantage is everything. It allows you to refine your product, build infrastructure, and establish a lead that's incredibly difficult to overcome. The US NGAD program still aims for greater range and highly modular payloads, and those are significant advantages. But the gap between the two programs is undeniably narrower than American planners had ever hoped, or perhaps even dared to imagine. One Air Force colonel, speaking quietly to Aviation Week, described the Delta as, a single handshake away. That's polite military speak for, we are no longer a decade ahead, we're barely ahead, if at all. This isn't just a race, it's a neck and neck sprint for future air superiority. Money talks, and right now, Across the Indo-Pacific, it's screaming. Japan, for instance, just added a staggering $7 billion to its FX budget, their own next-gen fighter program. Australia, a key US ally, is suddenly asking some very uncomfortable questions about whether its new nuclear submarines, potent as they are, can even communicate effectively with targets speaking Chinese. And India, they're dusting off their advanced medium combat aircraft, AMCA, design tables with renewed urgency. Why this sudden flurry of activity? Because a credible, flying sixth-generation fighter in Beijing's hands completely flips the cost equation for regional defense. Consider this. A single J-50 can lurk unseen, pop up a swarm of loyal wingman drones, and force an entire US carrier strike group to defend itself, using up valuable resources and time, instead of projecting power where it's needed. Deterrence, once a relatively predictable calculation, gets incredibly expensive, incredibly fast, when every single sortie demands four escort jammers and two tankers just for your pilots to feel safe in the air. 
This new reality is going to trigger a cascade of geopolitical responses. Expect to see more Quad meetings, more intensive AUKUS tech sharing, and, sooner rather than later, urgent requests from Seoul and Manila for their own advanced stealth fleets. An arms race in the Pacific isn't just theoretical anymore, it's not a hypothetical scenario discussed in war games. It's budgeted for, it's being funded, and it's accelerating right now. The ripple effects of the J-50 are already changing the strategic landscape. We are well past the if phase of China developing a sixth-gen fighter, we are firmly into the when. Western analysts, poring over every available scrap of intelligence, are now guessing that the J-50 could reach initial operational capability, IOC, as early as 2026. That's a full year, maybe more, before NGAD is even expected to achieve its first flight. By then, don't be surprised to see the J-50 refueling from a stealth drone, launching air-breathing hypersonic missiles from its internal bay, and perhaps even engaging in dogfights with an unmanned decoy of itself, because confusing the enemy, creating overwhelming ambiguity, is often half the battle. For US planners in the Pentagon, the takeaway is blunt, almost brutally so. Their legacy F-15s, and even the shiny new F-35s that are just reaching maturity, will need significant help. That means a massive acceleration in the development and deployment of more standoff weapons, advanced cyber hardening for all platforms, and a crash program to get loyal wingman drones into squadron service, not just testing. For everyone else, the takeaway is perhaps simpler, but no less profound. The sky no longer belongs exclusively to the country that invented the internet, that pioneered stealth, or that built the first jet engine. It belongs, now and in the future, to whoever writes the best software, integrates the most advanced sensors, and stamps it all into carbon fiber first. The race is on, and the finish line just got a lot closer. So, the next time you hear someone confidently declare that 6th gen technology is still a decade away, an unreachable dream for the distant future, just show them the images of the J-50. Show them that sleek, tailless airframe banking confidently over Chengdu, its gear up, its engines whispering, and its tail conspicuously missing. The future of air combat isn't some distant horizon anymore. It just arrived, and right now, it speaks Mandarin. The critical question isn't if the landscape has shifted, but how quickly the United States and its allies can close this rapidly widening gap. Or, more unsettlingly, has the Pacific already swapped the guard, ushering in a new era of air dominance? Drop your take in the comments below. What do you think this means for global power? Smash that subscribe button for weekly intel on the planes that will inevitably decide the next war, and please, share this video with that friend who still thinks stealth is just science fiction. They're about to get a very real dose of reality. Thank you.